Hello and welcome to the Raid Perspective Guide on how to use Tell Me When, a World of Warcraft add-on that helps with monitoring things in combat such as debuffs and buffs as well as certain resource types for classes such as rogues like combo points. One of the most difficult things about raiding is maintaining a rotation while being raid aware and looking around for these debuffs and buffs and keeping your rotation up can be very difficult if you were having to look all around your screen. As you can see in the bottom, Tell Me When allows you to track all these things wherever you want. You can put all of your information in one area. It helps you keep your rotation up just by making the information easier to access. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating a, a rogue just because it has a buff, it has debuffs, and it also has some resources to track as well as cooldowns. So you can apply these to just about any character in the game. Tell me when is fairly simple. Uh, you basically can track information in the little boxes that it provides and you can adjust the amount of boxes you want. To get in and out of tell me when you just do forward slash tmw. I'm going to start off by making my combo points tracker and to do that I'm going to go to condition icon. I'm going to make sure I enable the icon so I can see it in game and I'd like to set my combo points to look like the mutilate ability so I'm just gonna type in mutilate and all this is is just a graphic to demonstrate that's how you use the condition icon um, I always want it to show it whether or not I have a combo point it'll be faded when I don't I'm going to set my resource to combo points and I'm going to set the operator so that it is greater than or equal to one. So whenever I have one combo point, this condition will be true. I'm gonna set the target to the target because that's what's going to actually have the combo points. It's very important to put that in. Now, if the conditions fail, I want my combo points to be a lighter opacity. So right now I don't have any combo points, you can see it light up once I do have combo points. When I spend it, you'll see it dim down as I no longer have any combo points. Now that I have one combo point enabled, it makes it a lot easier to make multiple after that. So what I'm doing here is I'm going down in each box, uh, each subsequent box after the first combo point box, and I am copying and importing the combo points prior and then I'm just going over the conditions and upping it each time so that each combo point will be represented by itself and you'll see I get here to four and I've only got four boxes enabled but tell me one's very flexible and I can adjust the amount of boxes that I want per group so I'm going to go into group settings and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and name this group uh, combo points so I can recognize in the future what it is. And there it's saved. And I can adjust the um, columns and rows as I'll show you here pretty easily. I can get pretty much whatever I want. I can do some crazy stuff with Tell Me When. Uh, but I, we just need five for this uh, combo point group and I'm going to adjust that move it out of the screen a little bit and here we're going to make our fifth combo point just import that from the fourth one I have listed change my conditions once again to five so that I only show five when I have five I can adjust the size too there's a lot of scaling you can do it's very customizable but I'm just going to plop this right in the middle of my screen and it never hurts to do a little test after you uh, make one of these groups just to make sure that everything's running properly and make sure your combo points are actually falling off whenever you are running out of them. The next thing I want to worry about monitoring in my rotation is the things I need to upkeep like rupture and slice and dice for an assassination rogue. I always want to keep those up if I can so I'm going to go ahead and make another group for my rotational abilities. And to do that, you just open up Tell Me When again, 
you can click on any icon in any group and then go to the last tab which is group settings. I'm going to go ahead and add a new group and I'll go ahead and set this again to my rotation. I'm going to reduce the number of columns because I just need two for the two abilities I'm looking to track. So the first thing I want to track for this group is rupture which is a debuff so that's going to be under buff slash debuff. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to be sure to show the timer so I can track it precisely. And I'm going to go ahead and type in rupture and then just choose it from the list and I'm going to set the target to my current target. I'll set it to a debuff and make it always present because I always want to be tracking rupture. I'm going to set the duration to a maximum of six seconds so that when my buff is about to fall off I'll know it's about time to refresh it. When it is more than six seconds it's going to come up with a failed condition because it's not matching the duration. I'm going to put that to 20%. So I'm always going to have rupture visible to some degree. It'll just be lighter whenever it's not actually up. For slice and dice, I'll do a buff slash debuff again. Go ahead and choose slice and dice from the list, enable it, um, show the timer so I can track it. It's set already to a buff. I'm always going to track it. I'm going to do the same thing with the duration. I'm going to do the failed check so it's at 20% when it's not low. I'm going to set it to 6 seconds as a maximum duration again. So what you'll see as I go through my rotation a little bit, you'll see the, the icons light up. They're bright right now because they're not up. When I have them active, they'll go lighter and when they uh, start to get low, they'll brighten up again. And you can see I'm trying to invent them, and I can't because I haven't put my poisons up. Almost every class has some sort of ability, presence, stance that they need to keep up, or an item enchantment. So I'm going to, for the rogue, make a poison group. But say if I was playing a shaman or something and I wanted to keep track of my enchanted weapon, uh, I could do that as well. Or a protection paladin, make sure I could get my Righteous Fury on. Just anything that will keep me from failing come raid time. So that I'm sure that I'm ready before each pull. I'm going to go ahead and throw this right in the middle of my screen. So this isn't something I'm ever going to have to think about again. Poisons will just pop up whenever they run out of time. Uh, I'm going to set this to Weapon Enchant. And I'm going to enable it. And what I want to do is make this always shown, but I'm going to set a condition that it will uh, only show when it's below 10 minutes or 600 seconds. If it doesn't check out that it is below 10 minutes, it will just not show it at all. It's set to a failed condition of zero. You'll see as I exit configuration mode, that my weapon is shown near the middle of my screen and that indicates to me that I have no poison up and it'll also be up when my poisons get low. Right now you'll see it disappear but if I ever go below 10 minutes it's gonna pop back up so I know it's time to reapply my poisons before they run off. And I'll just go ahead and apply poisons to the rest of my weapons. Now I can just repeat the process of making new icons for each weapon. Uh, I can just copy the icon like I did before, make sure I set it to the offhand for the second one, and the third one will just be set to the throwing weapon. So there's a lot more that I can do with my rotation and things I can track, and I'll actually cover a couple more things in part two of this video which will cover cooldowns and then situational abilities. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out more Raid Perspective videos that I'll put out in the future.